Hey, what up, guys? Hey, um, I just wanted to bring you guys uh, a service call uh, that technically another technician couldn't figure out, and I think he was there for like six hours until they finally cut him off and told him to. Uh, well, I guess they called me. So a little bit of background. Um, I technically got a customer that has thousands of units, man. We're talking about one building has like 300 units, man. So usually when their electrician or the house electrician can't fix something, they call me. And honestly, they're calling me all the time. So I wanted to show you guys this particular one. I wish I would have took some pictures or some video, but from now on, I will. But uh, maybe if you guys, this was kind of a unique situation here. It had, a, it had to do with a 220 line uh, that for some reason, uh, well, well, we'll get into it. First things first, uh, you guys know what an electric baseboard heater is. So let me do the setup that was over there, okay? So we had a uh, electric baseboard heater. Basic 220 volts. You know how you can open the door on the right side, right? And you have your two wires. Okay. Uh, over here they had a basic uh, a basic uh, two gang box. On one of them it had a, a switch. And for some reason uh, over here it said heat. And over here it said AC. And to the right of that they had an outlet. That was a double outlet. One outlet was the normal outlet. And for some reason, this outlet on top was the uh, 220 outlet. Okay. Over here, on top of the heater, they also had an outlet over here. And to the right of the heater, they had a 1900 box. And in the back, uh, they had a pipe that came uh, two wires. Okay. So when I first got there, um, supposedly the guy couldn't fix it, X, Y, Z. Uh, they had they had this um, thermostat in there because you know on these electric heaters you need to have a thermostat on there, right? So when I got there, I saw the thermostat. Honestly, the first 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 thing I did was I, I tested these leads, right? And right away I got two twenty volts, right? So I was wondering why why wouldn't this guy be able to connect it? You know, how I I, I was kind of struck, you know, because the lady was saying that the guy was there for like six hours. Um, so I figured maybe he didn't know how to wire it. You know, I was like, could he have not known how to wire it? So I, I look at the um, the thermostat. <clears throat> thermostat was a basic double pole switch. Uh, you had your connection A, connection B, and then the switch in between. And whenever the switch was on, then this would energize this, and this would energize this. So obviously at 220, you know, you give it power to A, power to B, and then these two would go to the unit right uh, before I connected that <clears throat> I connected the heater directly uh, one line went to one line the other line went to the other line and I literally waited three minutes and it heated up uh, I felt the top I started feeling the heat coming out and I was like what the heck I was like I was like there's I don't know I was like they could, could he have not have known how to connect it because technically we all start somewhere else guys you I've been doing this since 2000 so I, I kind of have it all in my head, what has to happen and all this other stuff, right? So I was like, man, that's very weird. So then I was thinking maybe this thing was shot, right? So I, I take my meter and check uh, continuity. You know, I, I check from here and I check from here and I turn the, the knob on and I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting path, right? Same thing with this one. I check, I'm getting path. Uh, I wish I could show you guys behind this guy, but there's uh, four screws, pretty simple. Pretty simple switch, man, not, not, nothing fancy. And then technically it's rated for 22 amps. So I'm like, man, I was like, could, could he, could the guy really not know what's going on? But you never know, I, I seen weirder things, right? So I was like, man, this is gonna be an easy 300 bucks, man, I was like, man, okay. Whatever, so I disconnected this, and then I connected, uh, same thing, uh, the leads. Let me, show, let me clean this up a little bit. Yeah, so the leads from the heater, I connected it to uh, line this one, and then the other lead, I connected it over here. And then the two leads that had the 220, connected it over here, connected it over here. I started cleaning up. I, I put this inside the junction box. I started cleaning up. I turned it on, nothing. I'm like, man, that's weird. Gave it three minutes. I was like, maybe it needs more time, right? Nothing. I was like, man, that is that is weird. I was like, that is completely weird. Um, after that, I was like, man, there's there's something else going on here. 
So then um, I, I connected my tester to the leads that leave the thermostat, right? They, they leave it, I connected my tester. I connected one to uh, A, I connected one to B. And then I was getting 60 volts. I was like, oh, that's weird. I was like, why, why would I get 60 volts, man? I was like, that, dude, that, that literally right there, boom. I was like, what the heck is going on, right? Uh, after a while, I, I, I moved the switch down. And then uh, briefly, I, I got the 220 volts, actually. Briefly. And then I was like, oh, man. I was like, the, the switch is probably bad. Uh, once you open, I, I took these out, and, and, and this is what I saw, right? Just so you guys know. So this is the box right here. It had two pipes. This pipe right here went to the panel and it brought uh, a 120 line, which was a black wire and a white wire, right? So that, that right there was for this outlet right here, right? And then also it came two blue wires, which was my 220. <clears throat> so the 220 went to this switch right here. This is a double throw switch, right? So you, the, the 220 is either gonna go up or down. So when it's on the AC, the power goes to this outlet right here. When you flip it onto the heat, uh, it sends power. There's a junction box right here that also has another outlet. That uh, <clears throat> the 120 line, there's a pipe, this pipe right here. The 120 line goes in here, comes out of here. They had an outlet, okay? But it also had the, uh, the heat on, at the back of the switch. Those same two wires went through here and came out of here, same thing, uh, and went to another pipe and came out of here, simple, right? Okay, um, I, I took it out real quick, and then, well first I, I you know, I, I moved the thing and I saw my meter 220. I was like, oh, this guy has a bad switch, man. Uh, so technically, 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 I asked the lady, I was like, hey, do you ever use this switch over here for the AC? And technically, by that time, they already had a, a, a new AC that was like 120, so that one can plug directly here. So the lady said, no, we don't ever use it anymore. So, check this out. This is the switch right here, actually. All right, so you see this switch right here? So these are the line A and line B, right? And look at this one, or is it this one? Look at this. You see? So whenever this was switched on, these two oranges will connect to this outlet right here, right? And whenever you went down, it will send the power to these blue, right? Uh, so technically, I took the switch out, I cut all the wires up. I just piggyback uh, the, the two wires that came here, the 220. I just connected them with these 220. I just literally took the switch completely off because she doesn't need this outlet anymore. I put a wire nut on them. Boom, tuck it back there and now I got a hole here, right? So I go to the car, I put another outlet here, and I just tap it to this outlet, whatever. Okay, so now I'm, I'm, I'm certain that we have 220 coming over here. Uh, yeah, nice 220, boom. Connected it, put the wire nuts in, close everything up, and it worked. And the guy was there for like six hours, and, and he couldn't figure it out what was going on. Uh, so this, this is something to look out for. Look, well, I don't know, man, but when, when I will move it, it, it will work. And, and, and this is a double throw switch, and look at this, man. He couldn't figure this out right here. So when, when it was loose, uh, you would get like 60 volts because it wasn't really touching. That's probably why it's all burnt. <sighs> okay, so when I originally got there, uh, he was like, oh, the guy says that there might be a short on the wire, or I don't know what's going on. I, I was there for one hour. I charged the guy 300 bucks. Uh, I told him it was 250 service fee plus 50 material. I was there for one hour, I got 300 bucks. And yeah, just be careful when you get a situation like that where you're, you're getting like 60 volts. It's not really what you re really need. <clears throat> That's the problem that we had over here actually. But anyways, uh, this is a, a series of like service costs where the previous technician couldn't fix it. I got a bunch of them, man. <laughs> dude, I literally, dude, after here I went to another one. But anyways, I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit of into my world and and things to look out for. But yeah, this guy couldn't, uh, he, he couldn't figure it out, man. He couldn't figure it out. Six hours, six hours, six hours, yeah. I, I honestly, I, I should inspect it this first, you know, cause, oh, and check this out. Supposedly uh, the symptoms were that they had a heater before and it will stop working after like five minutes. So in, instead of trying to figure out why or checking to see if they had the right voltage, they just replaced the heater. There's a chance you didn't even need to replace it, you know? 
And check, uh, this is for the thermostat, the, the screws that I'm telling you, you see right here. Yeah, you see it normally open, normally closed. When you move the switch, boom, the power just, that's it. It's a, it's a basic thermostat. It's literally the same switch. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I'll, I'll be uploading a lot of these videos, a lot of these, my, uh, man, I got another one where I had to take a manometer for, uh, for the guy who, who told me that the pressure switch didn't work to take another pressure switch and it was going to work. And then when I got there, I plug it in and, and I'm getting point like five, nine, point five, nine. And technically, uh, I look at the pressure switch and, and the make is point four, seven. So I'm like, dude, the, the switch is okay. But that, that's a different video. That one, I did take a picture of it and a video so I can show you guys. But anyways, this is my series of uh, troubleshooting uh, service calls where, where the previous guy couldn't fix it. Anyways, I'm out of here. I just wanted to make a quick video before my boy wakes up. And I'll, I'll see you guys later.